as Amazon ramp up the fight against third party streaming applications, it looks like now they've even taken it to another level by blocking some of the workarounds that we previously discussed on this channel. Now, those workarounds were just a simple case of using an application which is available directly in the Amazon App Store, which allows you to clone applications. Now, when you clone an application, the package name of the application changes. And because that new name is not in the blacklist, it means you can go ahead and carry on using that on your device without any warnings. Now, this is the application that I previously mentioned, but unfortunately the developer of this application sent me this email this morning saying that he received a notice from Amazon telling him that App Cloner has now been removed from the Amazon App Store for violating their terms. He says, honestly, I'm scratching my head here. I've read through the terms that they're linking, but I don't see how this applies to it. Looks like from their point of view, if they feel like any application can clone itself and change the package name, they believe that's some kind of circumvention and it goes against what they're trying to achieve with this new blacklist. And because of that, now they've removed any application that gives that ability from the Amazon App Store. Now you can see at the end he's saying this is not the end of the world. He will update a new version, the latest version, which he's been working on. This explains why we haven't seen a new version because Amazon were always planning to remove or delete this application from the Amazon App Store. Now in this video today, let me show you another option that you can use, which is not application based, but browser based. So you should be able to use it on any device from any computer, even any phone, which will allow you to clone applications and of course change the package name. But, but please do double check and make sure that you are subscribed because as soon as this developer gives me the updated version, I will share that either on my website or if he gives me a link to his website, I will share it with you guys and hopefully you will have a, an easier way you can use directly on your Fire TV or Fire Stick to clone any application that you like. So the new method we have today, which you can use from any device that has a browser, is a website called apkeditor.io. Super easy to use, I haven't seen any adverts, doesn't require any registration, doesn't cost anything, and it really is a super easy way for you to clone your applications and give them a different name or really do as you please. Now in this demonstration, I'm going to try to clone uh, an application that looks like this. So I'm just gonna drag across my original application into here, I can now click on agree to terms and let's click on analyze APK. This will now scan the APK and then present you the information regarding it. So here, for example, we can see the name, we can see the package name, we can see the version number and so on and so forth. So for this test, I'm gonna call this application something else. Let's just put a new 2025 at the end. It's a bit of a mouthful, but you can see it has a new name. And most importantly, let's give it a new package name which I will call it um, com.testing.tdqk. Let's just leave everything else as default. Let's now scroll down and you have this option here to rebuild the package and let's now clone it with a new name. So I've only changed two fields here. Let's now click on continue to rebuild. It says it's now ready to download. You can see it works very, very quickly. I can click on agree to the terms, click on download. And in a couple of seconds, I should see a prompt on my browser allowing me to download that. Now, whatever you do at this stage, don't refresh the page because I was doing that before, but that basically wipes out all of the settings for your customized APK. So leave it as is. It sometimes does take about 20 seconds to 30 seconds, but once it's done, you should have a copy of the original application, but with the new package name. So let's give that a second. I mean, in some ways you could say it was inevitable because we have noticed in the past that when I make videos on certain topics, whether it's custom launches, whether it's app cloners, whether it's um, really anything that potentially Amazon don't like, we can see very quickly either they block that process, they block that application, or they just make it impossible for you to use that. I mean, we saw that even with my TDUK applications, the TDUK app killer and cash cleaner, both of those were blocked by Amazon when they disabled the local ADB function. That's now downloaded. So you have multiple ways of getting this new application onto your device. You can copy it to a USB drive. You can upload it to a free file hosting website. You can add it to a Dropbox, or you can even use Doc Squiffy's new tool, FireSend, which will allow you to easily transfer files, applications from your computer over onto your Fire Stick. So let me now push that onto my Fire TV Cube and let's see what this application looks like. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, 
stay safe online, change your IP address, access geolocked content, protect your privacy. You definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Let's give that a second and the application should now appear on my device. And we can see it's done exactly that. Now, before we open it, let's have a quick look at the actual package name, which we can use a free application called App Info Manager, which we can see is just up here. Let's open that up. This will basically scan all of the applications on your device, but more importantly, it'll tell you the package name of these installed applications. So let's go down and we can see the new application that I just installed is over here. And you can see it's got a new name. It's got, well, if I click on that, you can see at the top there, it's got a new name. Now we can see they do append abkeditor.io at the end of it. So I guess that's some free sort of promotion for them, but you can see that the package name is now com.testing.tduk, which confirms that this application has a new package name. Now, if I try to open this application, three, two, one, the application does start okay and even prompts me to update it. So let's not update it for now. Let's click on cancel and let's just see for a quick test, can I actually play something with this? So if I just click on a random thing, click on play, and we can see in five, four, three, two, one, that episode starts streaming on my device, demonstrating that this cloned version is working absolutely fine. Now, lots of you were asking about the other application, the Sin one, um, saying you've tried to clone it, it keeps on crashing, or it does successfully clone. But unfortunately, even after the clone, when you try to open it, it just hangs. Now, in that example, I think it's just the fact that the way the application is coded that it looks for that original package name. And if it can't find that name, then I guess it just hangs or it just doesn't go forward. So I think for that particular one, we'll have to wait for the developers to either change the package name or maybe even have the ability to randomize the package name when you install it. So when you open it up, everybody will have a slightly different package name, allowing you to once again, go ahead and use it if you want to. But as I mentioned before, as soon as the developer comes back to me with this updated version, I will share that with you guys. So again, make sure you are subscribed to all notifications so you know exactly when that new update drops. The last thing just to mention is that make sure that you are using a VPN when doing anything on your Fire Stick, which gives you that protection. It gives you that extra layer of security. And most importantly, with ISPs throttling all sorts of IPTV traffic, all sorts of uh, streaming traffic, it is always advisable to use a VPN to bypass that throttling. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.